All right, what's up, folks? Welcome back to more L.A. Noir with your boy, Brian, the Demon Destroyer 31. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. All right, let's go, Brian. Get down there. Better go where up. All right, so we got an abandoned car. Let's see what's going on with it. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. Asshole Houlihan. Booty hole Houlihan. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. I mean, his son's Ted Theodore Logan from Bill and Ted, so, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> No tag. We'll have to use the registration to trace hmm. the owner. Hmm. No license plate, you're right. No fucking tag on it. What we got here? Tool. Combination wrench. Must have used well, the wheel lugs. Property of Dewey Brothers. Who it belongs to? Dewey Brothers? Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Go look at the car. Okay, I'm it's missing the right to play registrations. Trunk. Empty. Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Jeez. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Oh, shit. Hmm. You had to go snoop to see what the hell's going on. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't Good work, Brian. That. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Eh, um, whatever. You may be dead, you don't want to You look like say. the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? 
They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Uh, oh, you want to take a tire? Right. Gotta be, gotta so what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Mm. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. Um, right. I'll speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, if you could come back and do oh, yeah, something rank about four. those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Damn, good eye, bro. See, I would have missed that. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so we I'm have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. They're spilling stuff. There we go. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Yeah. At rent. One moment. That we found. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. There you go. Interview his ass. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? <laughs> yes, sir, Detective. <laughs> we'll you back up, up like owner. that. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Go to that dealership first. Dewey Bros dealership. 2.07 p.m. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Uh, he's eager to help. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. Put one down. No, it's in the red. That's not right. Third one down. There we go. That's going to be on the bottom. Ooh. 
know what it looks like? Top. Wrong okay. size. Looks like they're missing a, a, a wrench covered in red wrench. tape that we found it's at the crime scene. Gabriel Delgado Look at that. Missing a three quarter. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We're finding more clues, you know. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. So Valdez was just driving by and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Got it wrong. He was lying. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey. Or here my we partner go. shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. I got another question for you. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. We'll be asking more questions. We figure why he hates you. What are you hiding, Dewey? There we go. Spill it. Yeah. You don't want the LAPD getting too right, interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. All right, God we got two out of three kid. with that one. Not I'm just bad. an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. I right, show in the movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time Boy. to visit Gabriel What'd Delgado. You say, Brian? See how good his excuse is. I don't trust him. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. That's the cop in the newspaper. Watch out for punch you down. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Are you walking away, huh? Got you guilty? Know something I don't? Wait, let's... That'd be like an address thing. Mailbox. Yet. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. I make sure she doesn't go anywhere, all right, So Brian? how far along are you, Anna? Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely somebody here. Somewhere. Talk to us. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man.
we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's in interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez, Counsel chill out. General, I insist on my Brother. full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Dewey Brothers. You think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Damn it. He was lying. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the Consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. We're just over his house. Tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some... You gotta think about it for a little while there. Gabriel, <laughs> spill it. <laughs> a beautiful <laughs> but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. That was too Took him a while. Yeah. A while to thank you for a full <laughs> of <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's go find him. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. You drive. I need to go over the case note. Going back over there. So, where do you want to go? Hey, I'm back. In a little while, but back here. And not be around. I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. Look at that. That's the flag. That's the flag. Flag from the car. Hmm. Look at that. Souvenirs are a dumb move. Fuck up. Got your link to the crime now. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Yeah, right. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Stop Anna, do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby to be born in jail? He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. Can you open the back door? Ooh, there's a garage down there. Yeah. Check it out. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's the tags. There's the black tag. Yeah. Diplomatic license plates. The one. Hmm. The tires got me in there. And the tires got me in there. See the tire. Oh yeah. Look at that. Evidence. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Hmm. Wow. Brian, good eye, bro. You like, well, there's a garage down there. <laughs> they went all that. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. I am a liar. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? Why are you making that weird face? I could have doubted her, that's what happened. You come into my house to insult and bully me? I have known many policia like you. Gabriel wasn't at work. Yeah, maybe Where he, said he, he said he would never go back. Oh, the Gabriel flag. Is out driving around in his car. Flag. Told you, ass about the flag. Is, I will try and bring him in. If we have to track him down ourselves, it could end very badly for him, Miss Rodriguez. He is out with his chivatos, Julian and Enrique. They race on the corner of First and Santa Fe. I have pleaded with Gabriel to stop, but he would not listen. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Please, Chase. They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street yeah, race. Police chase. Stay on the gun. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere. Else. Blue car. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to steal off the sidewalk. I've had enough of Fuck out of my way. Delgado was our boy. Forget the other. Get away. Gonna lose him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Get trying to fish tail his ass. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. God damn it, Cole. Hold it steady. Hit the red <laughs> oh yeah? Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should've burned his fucking car! Downtown, buddy. You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide <laughs> for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective Phelps oh, yeah. is not a bad haul. We busted the fuck out some boys. Hands high, you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. 
That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. And we're out there kicking ass and taking names, boys. It for another episode of L.A. Noir. Guys, next time. Peace. <laughs>